This is the technical difficulties we are playing. Citation needed. Joining me today, he reads books. You know, it's Chris Joel. Variously, verbally, vociferous, verbose, violent, and venile are we? Ooh. Oh. Go on. <laughs> You do a different letter each show. I, I have up to now. I'm going to have to think of some kind of crazy <laughs> third letter now. But <laughs> The bounciest man on the internet, Matt Gray. Hello, you're true. And everybody's favourite Gary Brennan. Gary Brennan. Join me in my balloon to the moon. I, Is that I, a um, euphemism? I'm not yeah. sure if I want to do that or not. <laughs> so on the plus side, it's a balloon to the moon. <laughs> on the other hand, it's Gary's balloon to the moon. <laughs> do you have respiratory equipment? The gas in it, isn't there? There will be you in there. <laughs> In, it, in, there. <laughs> in front of me, I have an article from Wikipedia, and these folks can't see it. Every fact to get right is a point and a ding, and a special prize for particularly good answers, which is... Mystery Biscuits! Oh, yeah. And today we are talking about the boobry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bird. Oh, yes! Oh. <laughs> well, <'cause> sprint, done! <laughs> well, and the bullet of mirth headed for the tit-shaped <laughs> gag fest... <laughs> It, where's the hyphen in that? <laughs> I'm trying to di- to diagram the sentence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every, anywhere you can put a hyphen, James. <laughs> Is uh, it an Australian bird? No, it's not. Um, you're in you're in pretty much the exact opposite around the earth. Norwegian. Not not uh, about, about Canadian. Where? West coast of Scotland. You're right. It's a bird, sort of. It can also appear in other forms. Is, uh, it, is it a fish? No. In the same way that it's a duck a really is a fish? a mythical beastie. Oh, it is. I have a point. A shape-shifting my thing. I was going to oh, say. You know what? Mystery oh. biscuits! Oh, yeah. Well, this is a quick one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> instant points, instant do I get, biscuits. Do I, get, do I get a point for mentioning kelpies and selkies? Oh, you... Other you, shape-shifting Scottish beasties. Yes, you can, have, you can have a point for that as well. Do you want, do you want to talk about the kelpies? Uh, I can't remember which way around Kelpie and a Selkie is. It's a thing that looks like a seal that transforms into a people on land or something like that. Yeah. Or shared Shape, Shape-shifting water spirit. Can you get a Selkie mm. stick? Uh, <laughs> well, a thing that changes from a seal to a person yeah. while walking out of the sea. That's just a very unobservant person on land, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, that's they've how shape-shifting seal, myths happen. Yep. They've looked away, <laughs> they've looked back, there's a man. And at no point have they gone, the two of these aren't related. <laughs> they've gone, fruits, <laughs> man! <laughs> Ideally, held up the bottle they had in their hand, <laughs> rubbed their eyes, stared at the bottle, shook their head and put it back down again. <laughs> and then debated whether it can be deep fried and whether it tastes good with iron brew. The reason I said sort of early on is it may appear in other forms because it's a shape-shifting entity. <laughs> it's it's empty. just a thing. Bull. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, water, the... have a point, water bull. <laughs> what? what? Water bull. A water bull. Uh, what's a water bull? <laughs> it's another mythological Scottish creature. <laughs> shape-shift. So it um, shapeshifts yeah. into another made-up thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it couldn't it be more inventive and shapeshifted into something that isn't a shapeshift. The, yeah. The, the water bull is said to reproduce with standard cattle. How can you tell what's happened? Is there a puddle of water underneath? Size their ears. Of course <laughs> there is. Naturally, it's the ears. Yes, the water bull has big ears. Not flippers. Not a fin. Not anything like that. <laughs> It's not so that someone got a cow smaller and ears, smaller threw ears. it off a dock into... into <laughs> Can I ask a question? A yes. harbour. Are there major issues with this article? No, none at all. Are there any references? references? Well, it's obviously true then. <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot of good references here. Lot, uh, like Mythological tales, particularly Gaelic ones, have been very, very well studied. So you have a trail of bollocks. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, but does anyone want to come up with a, an explanation of what it might be? Because it's, it's fairly early on here. You have a, a big bird that makes a bellowing sound that sounds like a bull. Is it a bittern? Uh, not quite. It's, it's extinct now. This oh, one. This okay. Is, it goes back into mythological do, tales. Do. Oh, uh, no. Great what? Bustard. Oh, you, you're in the right area. It's That's great what they went to school for, isn't great. it? <laughs> Well, I thought boobery, great Boston. Yeah. Yeah. Great orc. I was going to oh, say, I had orc in my head. Why did you say it? Because I thought it was like Australian or something like that. No, no I just thought it wasn't a British bird, basically, the orc. I didn't think oh, it was. Right. Oh, it isn't anymore because it went extinct halfway through the 19th century. Was it shot a lot then? Um, what, it the orc? was probably delicious. <laughs> That's <laughs> why <laughs> most <laughs> things are extinct. <laughs> no, delicious no, and slow moving. <laughs> yeah, an easy shot. Um, the Birds Down was in high demand in Europe, which largely eliminated the European populations by the mid-16th century. Um, it was a beneficiary of many early environmental laws. Uh, and on <laughs> but not enough, though, because no. they killed them all. <laughs> Thir- 3rd of July, 1844, the last two confirmed specimens off the coast of Iceland. What happened to them? 
Died. Yeah. <laughs> In a freak parachuting attempt. <laughs> yeah. It actually says, were killed. So basically, it's like, oh. that's the last two there. I want to have that. They're mine. Yep. <laughs> that sounds like my name's in books now. <laughs> that sounds like a case for a detective inspector bird. Q title sequence: Bird in a little detective's hat. This oh, in the I, rain. I just thought it was going to be that same Land Rover going down a dirt track that they've all got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've just looked down this on the great, uh, the great. Orc. The last pair found incubating an egg were killed on 3rd of January, 1844, on request from a merchant. And the people who killed them are named. <laughs> Whoa. John Branson, Sigurtha Isofson, I'm probably mispronouncing the surname there, strangling the adults. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> if you're going to kill the last cold. two of a species, do it with your bare it get, hands. It gets colder, it gets colder. And Kettle Kettleson... Did he so kettle, kettle them? son of kettle. <laughs> yep, kettle, son of kettle. Are we sure this was a man and not an implement? <laughs> Don't forget, they, they were incubating an egg. What did he do? Boiled Eat it and ate it. Smashed it. Just smashed yeah. it. Oh, what a cock. He didn't even get a delicious <laughs> meal out of it. <laughs> um, we uh... Because they came alone with no soldiers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the, uh, literally, it, it was as cold as that. Uh, they, got, they interviewed later uh, and just said, I took him by the neck. He flapped his wings. He made no cry, and I strangled him. <laughs> <laughs> As you looked into that bird's cold eyes, yeah. and just went, shh, 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 "This, shh. this is the last member of this species." <laughs> you do want, you, you know, you do wonder with it being a merchant. It's like I want the last immaculate skin, which is why they didn't shoot it or something. Yeah, well, yes, that's why they weren't yeah. shooting it. Yeah, they wanted the skins, mm. um, but that was the bird that they thought might be causing the sightings of the boobly. What does it normally prey on? Small little cushions. Small little cushion. Prey. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. That's no. Fear. Prey's on fear. Uh, animals on ships. Entire boats this thing eats. Uh, no, nom, it, it nom, just nom, nom. It's, uh, sneaks along when you've got a boat that's transporting all the animals. <laughs> <you know? laughs> the, takes whole, one. the whole boat. Uh, no, the whole animal, though. The whole animal. Whoa, whoa, How whoa, big whoa. is this great, thing? Great orcs about that big. Mythological creatures, weird sightings. You know, you'll get all sorts of... And in the days before glasses. Yes. Then it was blurry and that <laughs> big. <laughs> can we rule out it wasn't one of these things that sank the Titanic? Yeah, I think we can rule it. It didn't shapeshift into an iceberg. That's, <laughs> and that's just not listed anywhere. Oh, yeah. no, <laughs> great, <laughs> no great orcs ever been found with red paint smeared ominously <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we did a crash zoom into an orc. Just... Baba, 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 with a big red light down his side. <laughs> While it blinks once and smiles. Uh, they will also shelter on land in overgrown heather. Who's she? Oh there we God. go, thank you. <laughs> I set it up. <laughs> <laughs> the boobery can also manifest itself in another form, a very creepy form. Paul Daniels. <laughs> Lizard. Airships. <laughs> They're not creepy. They are at night. Oh, that's okay. true. That's true. <laughs> Airships sneaking up on you in the middle of the night. When you're walking along. <laughs> <laughs> you just wake Bloody up and there's one in your face. Yes. <laughs> you telling me you wouldn't go, Whoa! <laughs> that's, fair. that's fair. Has he got a little face painted on the front of the airship? I yeah, of course it has. Just smiling unnervingly. It's kind of... Well, it's smiling unnervingly. You look away, you turn back, it's frowning. Oh. <laughs> You've written a Doctor Who plot yeah. there about airships. Moffat, it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what? This is a litany of other things it could be. Well, no, different kingdom here. So not Animalia, not... Uh, a rock. A I was going to say a rock. An insect. Oh, oh, piss off. A large insect that sucks the blood of horses with tentacles and feelers. But only horses. Do insects yeah. have tentacles? No. Well, it's not even consistent. <laughs> That's my bother with this. <laughs> Most mythology isn't all that consistent, to be fair. Well, if you're going to make something up, at least you make it up consistently. At least my airship one was, you know, consistent with a flying inanimate object. <laughs> it's partially an insect, partially Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> and partially swamp gas. <laughs> oh, of course it is. This is someone excusing their massive fart, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you are not getting away with calling what you did earlier swamp gas, Gary. <laughs> No. Oh, it was the boobery, everyone. That's what did it. <laughs> um, there is a, an entire category here on Scottish legendary creatures. Right. Uh, for a political joke, <laughs> the Conservative Party. There we go. <laughs> more, what, what is it? more, more pandas than Edinburgh Zoo than there are Scottish Conservative MPs. Yeah, and they're both Tories. <laughs> and what, the pandas? Yeah. <laughs> Viciously. We've got a habitat. I don't see why any of those other pandas should. We could <laughs> let them in, but why should we? Gets out the telegraph and it goes... Like that. 
Pandas can be like embittered <laughs> late forties Tories. They live together. They don't have sex. They won't fraternise with other kinds. They've got a very restrictive diet. UK independence pandas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Someone I know has a big thing against pandas, right? And they have a very can kill them. <laughs> yeah, basically, they don't need to survive anymore. They've bred themselves out of existence. So why are we bothering? <laughs> Not, Which is very not close actually to... a, a bad argument. That pa- <laughs> pandas, uh, pandas are basically an evolutionary dead end. They have failed point. Darwin's test. They, they, they weren't uh, like a lot of species. We kind of came along and messed things up for them. But at this point, and they vote Tory. Yes, <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> facts. We've established this that pandas are conservatives. Best way I've said this before. Best way to get a candidate to read your thoughts. I can say this because it'll be after the election when this goes out. Yeah. Um, if you spoil your ballot, if you put more than one cross in a box, every candidate has to stand around and look at that to agree that more than one cross is on that bit of I, paper. So if you were to do... I have literally been in that meeting. You have been because, there. Yeah. If you put two crosses and write, you're all dicks, they all have to read that to yes. make sure that you didn't put one preference more than the other and that is a genuinely spoiled ballot. Yeah. So there you go. If you're going to make a protest, call them all and put it on the, and put two crosses in. <laughs> I, I it's nothing yeah. better than seeing a, pa- a, a row of electoral candidates reading what people think about them. Yes. As they all go, yes, yes, uh, and two, <laughs> and my mum. <laughs> on that note, on that note, um, congratulations, Gary, you win this week's show. <laughs> the camera can't see you, you're, you're, in, you're in the darkness. You're in the dark. Uh, congratulations, you win leafy green vegetables from one of the fathers of computing. Please do. <laughs> Babbage's cabbages. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you very much to Chris Joel, Bye. Matt Gray, Gary Bannon. <laughs> I've been Tom Scott. We'll see you next time. Hey, the Chuckles, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight, Gary. <laughs> oh, we have space at the table for the... <laughs> we have a lot of space. Steel smelting process. Um, You're going to have a point Whoa. because it is named after and invented by... Bessemer. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. No, named after invented by SS. <laughs> that is my rank in the army. <laughs> have a point. Sergeant, Sergeant Major. Sergeant Reckless. <laughs> uh, yeah, you get a point. Uh-